All right. Structure two. Unit three. Units three and four have converted garages. Okay, then we're in unit two and the insulation is not covering the, I mean, they've brought insulation up, obviously, but the, the insulation is not covering the, the uh, attic floor. Um, loose fill, fiberglass as the others. Um, cloth tape on the clothes dryer vent. Um, insulation missing from the skylight tunnels. We have some white canister lights in here. So if we can zoom in on that. I got this bumped up to just trying to get some light up here. Right, canister lights, insulation's too close. Gray plastic sheath, we've already talked about that. We'll continue to talk about it. It's kinked, it's sagging, it's decommissioned, and it should have been uh, it was um settled in a class action lawsuit. It's defunct and this one's torn because it tears. If I can get over here a little bit closer. This might be my best example of that. Bear with me. Okay, but this is what that gray plastic sheath stuff does. Okay, it tears. It tears it. You know, it's, it's, it's just all needs to be replaced. Insulations like like five six inches. The white canister lights over there. Missing insulation on the skylight tunnel. You can see where it's been leaking around the skylight. Okay. Um, not too much else going on here. Ah, I got something here. Got a little bit of rafter spread right in there. What I call it. Um, Perlins. Okay. Well, some of the purlins, but the purlins are undersized. Again, we don't have them. Um, what is that hole for? That light coming in somewhere. It's like that spot that Larry kept trying to clean on Three Stooges when they had the laundry. Okay. That light is coming in from somewhere. I'll look for that. Uh, no soffit baffles. Uh, dead mouse. Water stains.